So today in this quickie episode, we're going to look at, and it's been looked at by others, but I'm going to do it anyway, an SD card reader for our Arduino. Would work on the SP32 and pretty much a lot of other my controllers as well. This takes a small micro SD card in there. It can read and write files. Could be really handy. Let's get cracking. Is that it? <sighs> With the help of a nice large glass, not grass, glass, large glass of rum and coke, as uh, I'm currently, like everybody else in the world at the moment, what's happening, pretty much stuck indoors, and you know, a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of liquid pleasure helps, so we we'll, let's, just, let's just take a drink of that now, I think. So this quickie might take a little bit longer than uh, I thought if I keep on drinking that, but let's carry on. So, SD card reader, yeah, it's been covered before, and I wouldn't usually do something that's been probably been covered to death on YouTube, but I've got a, a small, another sort of quickie project coming up, and I just always like to cover all the basics, so I'm going to be using this, so I'm going to look into how to wire this up and uh, use it on an Arduino. So here's my Arduino, it's a Uno, it's a clone. Let's have a look at what connections we need. On the back of this, we have got, from the bottom up, We've got, let's see if we can bring it all up here, get a bit of a refocus on there, you never know, it might work. Come on, refocus. Oh, if I only had some quality equipment. But I don't, so let's live with it. So we've got ground and voltage going up from bottom to top. My saw, me saw, whatever saw, mozzy or mossy or whatever, uh, SCK, which is like clock signal, and a chip select. So we've got those six that we have to wire into our Arduino. So let's start off with the simples and basics. Let's whack some ground in there. So ground is going to go to, obviously, guess where? Ground. I'm not going to be do anything more radical than connect it to ground. It sounded like it sort of kind of bust there when I went and put it in there. So let's just whack that in there. And I might have caught the camera a bit there. That's because that's my third glass of rum and coke, perhaps. Let's get the five volts in. These are 3.3 volts or 5 volts, they're fine. So as I said, they would work with an ESP32 without much of a problem. Let's do the MISO. We've got some wires. What colour shall we go for from that? We'll go with a nice sort of green. So green, and they're going to connect to the standard sort of connections on the Arduino. For MISO, it's 12, so whack it over there. And Mozzie will go with blue. I tend to always choose blue for Mozzie, generally. Whack that on there. And Mozzie goes to Mossy, whatever. Pin 11, whack that in there. And we're gonna go for the clock signal, SCK. So there's my clock. Let's get that in there. And clock goes to pin 13. And the chip select can go to, I mean, they had to go to where they went to because that's the sort of hardware SPI connections for the Arduino. But the chip select can go to any sort of digital pin. So for just for the sheer convenience of and neatness of keeping everything together, I'm gonna to whack that into pin 10 right next to it. So let's have a look at what software we need to actually read things off our SD card, which will pop straight in there. So with a, with a freshly formatted FAT32 SD card, don't format it as NTFS, it's not gonna work. The software drivers for this will not do it. Let's put that into there. So with a freshly formatted one of them, push into there. Or oh, another thing actually, don't go bigger than about, I think 16 gigs is the biggest that uh, the Arduino can kind of handle on this driver uh, or the, the card hardware, whatever it is. The maximum I think is 16, this is an eight. As small as, you're not gonna generate gigabytes of data on Arduino, are you? What the heck are you doing if you are? Um, so go for a really cheap, nice, like two gig card. Don't go for like a 32 gig, it's not gonna work. So with that in mind, whack that into there, it's satisfying, click, and let's have a look at the software we need to actually control it. So here we are in the Arduino IDE. You may be wondering what libraries we need to install via the sketch and include library, manage libraries option. Well, the answer is none. You don't need any. The actual libraries for dealing with the SD card are actually built into the IDE now. You don't need to go around, find them, install them or whatever. So if you go to file and examples and down to SD, I'm gonna load up, there's a few we can look at here, but I'm gonna load up the data logger, which actually my next project mini project very quickly will be about logging temperature and getting that into an excel document and things like that and graphing to open that up and the first thing we need to do is to make sure that whatever chip select line you've connected your to i've done i've gone i've checked i've connected my chip select to pin 10 so i've changed that from pin 4 you will definitely need to do that else it ain't going to work 
And if you look down here, it actually opens a serial connection as well. Down there at 9600 board. And tries to initialize the card. If it fails, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's because you've wired something wrong or forgot to ch change that chip select to 10 or whatever your digital pin is. That's what it's going to be. You're a dingbat. It is. That's, going to, that's what it's going to be. The card is not going to be wrong. It's so rare. So make sure you've wired everything right and change that just in case you're having any problems. In this example, all it does is go around the three analog inputs and gets their data. And for me, I've not got anything connected up, so it's kind of random, whatever the values are floating, floating at. And it puts that data into a string called data string and it comma separates them like that. You can see it's doing a comma separated delimination, a comma separation there of the data. And then it opens this file called datalog.txt. If it doesn't exist, then it will actually create it. So it'll open it for writing. And if it's not there, it'll create the file ready for, for writing to. And then it just writes out that data string to the file. So you can see we've opened that, type data file there. So you've got the data file, what we've done there. We're just gonna to print to it. And those three values are comma separated. We then close the file and pretty much repeat we, we, we print it out to the serial port there as well but then we just repeat it over and over again as many times as it can i think it's about once a second it's right into the file or something like that so with that said let's have a look at what the contents of the sd card are okay so pop the actual sd card in there we go files i've named this SD card when I was format it, formatting it as Arduino. Let's have a look what's on there. There it is, called data log, text document. Open up that. And you can see all those analog values for all those three inputs, comma delimited, three at a time, going all the way down there, approximately every second or so. So that's it for now. Please like if you liked it. If you didn't like it, ah, shove a like on anyway. What the heck? What's the worst that's going to happen? If you want to see some more of this sort of content, then hit that subscribe button. Do the old sharing and all that lot. And yeah, there's some other links down in the description below if you ever want to support me in any sort of other way. Don't feel obliged. I just enjoy the fact that you're watching the videos. Catch you later.